Hey guys, what's up? It's General Flight here today. We're going to do a quick overview of Aeroflight, Flight Simulator 2. Um, we're going to get into the basic six aspects of the app. So we we're going to go through aircraft, location, navigation, conditions, regions, and settings. These are just basically how to set up, you know, your flight. So, let's get started. Let's go to the aircraft. Alright, as you can see, you've got many aircrafts. Not many, but you've got quite a few aircrafts to select through. You can purchase some, um, and some are for free. Um, I did indeed purchase some of them, as you can see. Now, you don't have a hell load of planes like Infinite Flight does. However, you have the good planes, so that's that's what I'm happy with. Now, on top of having the planes, you also have libraries, as you can see here. So you can go through all the different companies, not all of them, but the well-known ones. Yep, so you can go through all of those. All right, so. I think that just wraps it up for the planes. Let's go to the location. Now this is pretty basic. This just tells you, uh, shows you where your, the location of your plane is to start with. So let's say I want it there, for example, on the runway. There you go, I land up on the runway. As you can see, that will be the location at a thousand feet above the ro uh, runway. Okay, I can also set it on the runway, um, which is also an option if you click on the actual thing like this. Okay. And let's say set it there. Anyway, let's get to the navigation. All right, so the navigation, all it does really is it just, this is important, it builds up your track of flight. So where you're going to fly, okay? So there's a bit of a loop here, as you can see. But if you put this on co-pilot, um, or autopilot, whatever you call it, it will indeed follow the track and give you a nice clearance into the runway. Cool. All right. That's about the navigation. Right. Now, here we also have um, the conditions at the bottom. Now, you can set different things for this. You can set the time, wind, and cloud. So the time, basically, is the time of day you want your thing at. Now, this is really cool, um, because especially because it actually runs while you're flying. So let's say you're flying for an hour, your, the sun will be down an hour like after it's supposed to be so it's, it's not gonna stay at 12 o'clock it's gonna stay, it's gonna go to one o'clock after that if you know what i mean all right so it's a bit of time. Now you also got wind so this is all the wind direction the turbulence and the thermal activity so you know for strength you for wind strength you'd normally put it somewhere like here um you can put it calm you can put it strong direction so this direction of the wind doesn't doesn't really um affect it too much but it will that's the direction it will push the plane more so if you're like on strong or something like that. Alright here's the turbulence. So how much turbulence do you want? Do you want high? Do you want low turbulence? It's really hard to fly with high so I'd go with somewhere around you know here or something. Alright thermal activity doesn't really matter too much so you know it doesn't really matter where you put that. Yeah. Alright the clouds. So this is just basically this is important. The visibility is it's one of the most the key aspects when you're flying so putting it at low visibility is going to be a pretty big challenge for you and yes you you can possibly ca crash into mountains and stuff like that because visibility is really low if you put it high which is normally what i fly at um then it's really easy to see everything around you all right serious cloud density this is the amount of density you want the cloud so how much of the cloud you want so you can put it high you can put it low i normally keep it around the middle so, side of things Cirrus cloud heights. So this is the height you want the cirrus, cirrus clouds at. Um, I normally like to put my cirrus cloud height again in the middle, somewhere like that. All right, that's about all for condition. What about regions? Let's go through regions. So you have certain regions to choose from. We've got Switzerland, Southern California, and yeah, that, those are all the ones to purchase. I have purchased them. Um, you do have Northern California. That comes when you when you buy the app itself. So yeah. Alright, you also got settings here. This is um, important if you want to know what all your stuff. So this is general settings. You've got invert camera control, flight information, approach guides, landmarks, transparency of control. Um, so these are just basic general settings. Right, this is the control. So these are control settings. You've got quite a few control settings here for your controls. Now I normally use tilt. I don't know about you, but that's that's a much more you know reasonable way to fly your plane. You've got analog, auto centering, auto trim, rudder control and control. So you can use auto, assisted or manual rudder control. 
Alright. Miscellaneous. So this is the miscellaneous stuff. Um, and this is for restart time after you crash. So it will spawn back into the place you were before after you crash the plane. So normally I said that at about five. Alright. Alright, I think that about wraps it up for this. Um if you wanna, there's a new video coming out tomorrow about we're gonna actually fly the plane somewhere. Um, so stay tuned for that. And anyway, besides um, that, thanks for watching.